We have released Trimsy 033 and as usually we have a short video for you going through the main new features and main changes. This release has over 150 PRs from over 20 different contributors. It supports Kubernetes 1.19 and newer and the last tested Kubernetes version is 1.26. It supports a new Apache Kafka version 3.3.2 and apart from that it also supports Kafka 3.3.1, 3.2.0, 3.2.1 and 3.2.3. Before we move to the new features, let's talk briefly about the Strumzy pod sets and the current plan for their graduation. Right now the plan is that the Strumzy pod sets will move to GA in Strumzy 035. And the support for stateful sets will be removed right after the Strums 034 release. This plan is not expected to change unless we found some new major issues. So if you are not using Strumsy pod sets yet, now is the highest time to start. And now let's have a look at the main new features. One of them is the move to Java 17. It is used in all of the Strums 033 containers as the Java runtime. The only exception is the JMX Trans container because JMX Trans doesn't support Java 17. Java 17 is also used as the programming language level in our operators. Of course, this does not affect in any way your Kafka clients, which can still use any other Java versions as you want. There is a compatibility issue which we discovered between some of the new TLS features used by Java 17 and the Kubernetes Nginx ingress controller. So if you are using those, please check the release notes for more details. Thanks to the Java 17, we can provide improved support for the FIPS standard. You can now run Streamsy on FIPS enabled Kubernetes clusters without any special changes or configurations. So you do not need to set the FIPS mode environment variable to disabled anymore to run on FIPS enabled Kubernetes clusters. Check out the dedicated blog post on Streams website for more details and the documentation for the upgrade guidance around FIPS. Another new feature is auto restarting of failed connectors or tasks in Kafka Connect and MirrorMaker 2. This was one of the features a lot of you were asking about and actually it was contributed by one of our users as well. It is disabled by default and you need to enable it in the Kafka connector or Kafka Mirror Maker 2 resources. Check out our website for dedicated blog posts which covers more details around this feature. Streams 033 also brings a new redesigned user operator. We listened to the feedback from many of you who complained about the performance with hundreds of users and that's why we completely redesigned it with improved performance, better scalability and creating less load on the Kafka brokers. We still think that if you want to manage hundreds of users, other authentication mechanisms such as OAuth might be more suitable, but if user operator is what we want to use, it should be possible now. The Kafka user custom resource remains unchanged, so you can keep the existing users and they will work completely fine with the new redesigned user operator. There are also many smaller changes, such as the improved health checks in the craft mode, support for load balancer class and listener configuration, metadata configuration for entity operator role and role binding resources, or a new improved version of the Strumzy bridge. There are of course also many other bug fixes and dependency updates. For a full list of changes, please check out the GitHub release page. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and star our repositories on GitHub. Thanks for watching.